Hello fellow gamers and welcome back to another Pro Guides video. It's me, your host, Dan, and today I'm going to be showing all you guys all the latest new meta tactics and strategies to level up your battle pass and gain max XP super fast. Fortnite Chapter 2, it kicks off with a refreshing new map and a brand new version of Fortnite that has come with a new update. With this massive update comes brand new changes and some really cool game features that have made it more different than ever. Changes to matchmaking, the battle pass, the in-game map, and the XP system have all come into play. We're going to be focusing on how the new XP system works, as well as the fastest ways for you guys to reach the maximum level and receive all the items on your battle pass in no time. Getting to that sweet tier 100 skin is the challenge that we all face at the beginning of every season. Let's admit it, we all want it, but do we really want to spend hundreds of dollars for it? Of course not! So put that wallet away and get ready because we're going to go over everything that you can do to get to that tier 100 skin while also getting max level before everyone else. But before we get into it, if you guys are interested in getting better at Fortnite, then click the link below to go to ProGuides.com where you can play with the best players in the world by just clicking a button. Sign up for our membership at ProGuides and you'll get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like Benji and Mongrel. So if you want to compete in Fortnite, you have to check out ProGuides.com. Also, be sure to drop a like on this video to show us your support. We strive to bring you the best content available and those likes really help us. Alright, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Now, believe it or not, Fortnite has actually combined the previous XP tiers and Battle Pass tiers into one, meaning that you no longer have a separate level and Battle Pass tier. We'll get into how this will work out throughout the rest of the video, so sit back, relax, and pay attention so that you're up to date with all these new changes. First, let's take a look at the new XP system. If you jumped into the game by now, you've almost definitely realized that there's some funky new stuff going on regarding XP, especially when you load up your first game. What you most likely saw was the brand new XP pop-ups that show up every time you get a kill, or do anything that grants XP. These often show up as light blue colored pop-ups in the center of your screen. Before the update, things that grant you XP would be kept track of, but not in the same way as it is right now. In Chapter 1, all of your XP earned would be discreetly kept in check and could be seen at the end of every game if you click the statistics button. Now, however, all players can see this every time they earn XP in-game, which is a cool new way to teach you some new ways to earn XP. Every time you manage to do something that earns you some XP points, keep it in mind and keep trying to do it more. Also, at the bottom of your screen during every game, you have a purple bar which is essentially an XP tracker which will fill up as you earn XP. This tracker will change based on how you perform during that game and the amount of XP you earn. When you hit a new level, it will also congratulate you mid-game, which is a pretty cool feature added. It makes the whole XP grind more satisfactory as you'll be seeing lots of visual and audio cues for challenges, punch cards, and missions. Now, there are essentially four new ways to earn XP in Battle Pass tiers in the new update. The first is going to be the brand new metal punch cards, which are basically challenges that will keep track of different milestones you may have hit throughout the game. The punch card is a brand new addition to the game and is one of the first things most players notice when they hop into their first game of Chapter 2. Punch cards are similar to daily challenges in a way, where they will grant you XP and tiers every single day. The way this works is if you've gotten all the punch cards finished for that day, you've gotten all the XP possible from punch cards. Some of these punch card challenges will be doing things as simple as logging on and playing your first match of the day, to even as hard as surviving until the end game. Be sure to check out the full list of the punch card challenges on the screen right now. There's also the mission challenges, which are basically the same thing as weekly challenges that used to come out in the past seasons. These will give you physical and unique challenges that you have to carry out throughout games in order to earn experience and level up. Mission challenges can be anything from eliminating enemies with certain weapons to doing time trials with boats. They're also very random and come out on a week-by-week -week basis, so make sure that you're staying on top of them in order to rank up as fast as possible. We also have the daily medals, which are similar to punch cards, but they grant XP every time rather than up until the point your punch card is full. Punch cards and medals will grant you the most XP daily, so we recommend that you sign in and seek out to complete these challenges as much as you possibly can. Although wins and eliminations grant XP, the heaps that you will receive from punch cards and medals far surpass any other source of XP in the game. Finally, we have the normal XP that you will be receiving from things like eliminations and other in-game things that will grant XP upon every completion. These two usually have to do with how long you survive and how many eliminations you get, meaning that you will get XP points for getting close to the victory royale and how aggressive and talented you are at pushing opponents and fighting them off. Survival XP will almost always grant you more XP than eliminations, so we suggest that you guys always play for the endgame and stick to getting your kills at that point where you've already gotten a good majority of your XP. 
Now, the most efficient way to survive and stack up your XP is by focusing on doing your missions and avoiding players during your multiplayer games. Instead of focusing on looting and getting eliminations, focus on avoiding opponents while completing as many challenges as you can. This is by far the most efficient way to farm up those points as fast as possible. Before, we mentioned that your survival and placement will have a lot to do with your XP. The sweet spot for getting as much XP as possible is going to be top 10. This is where you want to aim around in order to get as much XP as possible for survival time. Another cool little tip is to make sure you're opening ammo crates. Although very simple, opening ammo crates will grant you a nice heap of XP every single time you do so. There's a ton of them lying around on almost every major point of the map, so be sure to start remembering their locations and finding the fastest ways to looting them. Most players don't even think of doing this, giving you a huge advantage in terms of how much faster you level up over them. Now, going back to Chapter 1 of Fortnite, there was a well-known system of getting an XP boost for playing with friends. Playing duos or squads with people who had a Battle Pass XP boost would grant the entire squad a huge amount of extra XP. This would mean that playing squads and duos would be much more efficient than simply playing solos. Although this was fun and promoted playing with other people, it simply wasn't efficient for players who would rather play solos or didn't have others to play with. Thanks to Epic's good judgment, they've actually taken this out of Chapter 2, meaning that XP boosts from playing with others no longer exists in the Battle Pass. This gives all players an equal opportunity to level up, regardless of whether or not they bought the Battle Pass. Now, let's take a look at other ways for you guys to get that rank up faster. Mission challenges, previously known as weekly challenges, are actually becoming more and more important. In fact, in Chapter 2, you could earn thousands of XP for completing just a single challenge in one week. We know that mission challenges can be tedious at times to complete, so make sure that you're staying on top of them and completing them as soon as they come out in order to rank up as much as possible. Also, don't forget about Party Assist, which allows you to grind out challenges with other people in your lobby. Consider getting a group of friends to grind out challenges with you to speed up the process of leveling up even more. Once you've completed all the daily punch cards, challenges, and weekly missions, the fastest way for you to level up is by grinding out the game and going for those placements as we mentioned before. Some ways that you can get more consistent with placing in matches is by playing with a solid squad that you play well with. Remember, your goal is to make it to the end game in order to maximize the XP that you're awarded. Once you're there, keep going for that victory royale which will give the most XP possible for placements. If you set this as your goal for every single game, your XP grind will go by much faster and you'll find yourself ranking up quicker than ever before. Now, we talked a little bit in the beginning about how battle pass tiers and XP level have been combined to just one single level. Epic Games has made it so that you don't need to grind two separate ways in order to get your battle pass and season level up. All you need to do is focus on gaining XP, and just by doing so, you will be leveling up and gaining tiers in the battle pass. This is a very cool change, as before, it was all based on challenges and waiting for weekly ones to come out, as they rewarded the most battle pass stars. But now in Chapter 2, it's all on you. The more you grind and the more XP you get from performing well, the faster you will get to that level 100, earning you the tier 100 skin. So, now that you're familiar with it, let's take a closer look at the leveling system. Every time you go into a game, you should see a number next to your name, and next to every opponent's names in the kill feed. This number represents their level. The more XP they've gained in Chapter 2, the higher their level will be, indicating how much they've been grinding the game, more or less. Now, of course your main goal will be to get your battle pass and level to 100, but did you know that it doesn't end there? Fortnite has now made it possible to go above and beyond level 100, meaning that even if you unlock every skin in the battle pass, you still won't be at max level. Some players have bought every tier in the game at the start of the new season. What this has caused is their level to jump up to 100. But we oftentimes see that within games, some players will be over level 100. This isn't because they're necessarily grinding all the way up to there, and more because they bought the tiers and then grinded, getting themselves even higher. Because of all the new changes to leveling up and unlocking Battle Pass, the game has a new refreshing feel to it. Every time you do something in game that earns you XP, you feel a little more accomplished than before. Performing simple tasks in game have more worth to them than just for the sole purpose of playing that particular game. Players are now also grinding for their level in every single game, adding new ways to play Fortnite and play. We personally love this update, so be sure to let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We spent a lot of time doing research and making sure all the information is accurate and will help you level up as fast as possible. So please be sure to give us a thumbs up and comment on what your thoughts are. Also, don't forget to check out ProGuides.com. We have all new course videos and if you want to compete at the highest level, you need to check out our content. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.